Hi, it's Mike here. Today I'm going to show you how to remove a check valve out of an old Coleman lantern. Um, what Probably what happens is uh, the tank no longer holds pressure for an extended period of time. So basically it's probably, you know, two or three things that could be wrong with the lantern. Um, a, the check valve is leaking and not holding air. Or the cap itself, uh, that the seal in the cap is no longer good. Or the tank is rusty. So if you eliminate the issue that the seal's good and the tank's not rusty, um, we have a, a check valve that's in this tube and I'll show you how to remove it. Okay, to remove the check valve, it's a very simple process. Just got to do a few things. Uh, remove this little clip there and then unscrew this all the way a whole bunch of times and just pop that out, the pump, and then this rod, the stem, uh, comes out. Should be, uh, if not, just keep on screwing out. Eventually it will come out. The neat thing about this is uh, the Coleman, that's a special uh, thread pitch. It's uh, 40 by 32. And um, this here matches that. So this really doesn't seal, uh, does 100% seal in the check valve. Um, it just kind of does like a 95% seal. So basically you want to kind of just look in the hole and screw this in. So I'll give it a whole bunch of turns so it's fully engaged. And then these prongs here will engage into the, the, the grooves or the slot of the check valve. So just kind of turn it till you hear it. There, it's locked into place. And then screw the nut on. And then take a 7 16 wrench. What I like to do is uh, just give it a crack. Sometimes uh, the fuel gets solidified in there and really holds that check valve in. So I just kind of give it a nice little crack like that. And that should, that should do it. So you can see that uh, this thing fits perfectly. The, the tang here, the prongs fit perfectly into the groove of the check valve. And that's a safe way to get it. If you just use a screwdriver or a big flathead screwdriver or hammer or something like that, it potentially would get loose and, and damage the, 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 the slot there of that check valve. So that is a safe way to um, take that check valve out and without damaging anything. Now these check valves are typically made out of brass with a, with a steel ball in there. And so you can kind of hear it in there. What happens is the fuel will solidify or uh, debris and crud will get in there and then no longer seal. So what you can do is uh, use carb clean, soak it in carb clean for a while, or uh, boil it in, in vinegar and that uh, usually um, would uh, cure it. And if not, well, you can always find replacement ones and to put it in. So the reverse to put, once you clean this and everything is good to go, what you do is you just do reverse of putting it in. So just kind of screw that in a couple times. Uh, take the check valve tool, engage it in there, and then screw that back on again. And uh, just in the hole, screw it in. And just hold on to the lantern tight. <coughs> there you go. Take that in, put that out, and then unscrew the rod. That's good to go. And here's a little trick to get this back in. Put the stem in here and then engage that right in. And that will go in straight in and then line up the holes. And then use a pair of pliers and just put the clip back on. So these old Coleman lanterns are quite rebuildable. So if you have an old vintage one and it stops working or it doesn't you know, stay lit for an extended period of time, don't, don't throw them away. They can be fixed. Uh, typically, if you don't hold pressure, it's the, the cap seal or the check valve. The neat thing about the check valve is, is that uh, Coleman use this check valve in, in a lot of their appliances, so uh, like stoves and other lanterns. So having this one check valve tool could do a multi-tool with different lanterns and stoves. Um, the difficult thing about this is it's difficult to make because this thread pitch is quite unique to Coleman and um, you just can't go down to a local hardware store to try to find that die. Um, I had to special order the die and it actually cost a lot of money so I made a couple extras for my friends and family so um, 
If you have an old lantern that uh, you know doesn't stay lit and you want to fix it up, uh, get one of these tools so you can safely remove that check valve and put it back in again. Thanks for watching.